family's home today and going to train at Elite Gym in Orpington. It's a great gym, it's my old gym. It's an American warehouse style uh, bodybuilding gym. It's absolutely great if you're anywhere in the southeast. So today is chest day. I'm uh, going to do some abs as well. Um, and I'm going to show you two chest exercises you probably haven't come across and they're completely new exercises most likely in that they're not it's not like a variation on a press variation on a fly they're um interesting movements that are sort of their own thing um that i've seen great results with both myself and uh clients so yeah um i'd recommend just i mean to start out with have a look at them and maybe throw them in to your existing chest routine and do like uh, two sets of each, you know, just two, two sets of 10 to 12, very standard. See what you think of the movement. And then if you like it, up the weight, maybe do three sets, maybe throw in intensity principles and um, see how it goes. Let's get to Elite and let's make some gains. I also like coming home because I can drive my car and that means that I can get some pre-workout tunes in. And everyone knows that having some decent bass before you work out is anabolic. Here we are at Elite. Uh, it's an absolutely fantastic gym. Uh, this was uh, my gym when I lived down here. Uh, I joined as soon as it opened and uh, I was a member here until I had to move centrally for work. So, um, And even then, I mean, that used to stop being my regular gym, but it's always, uh, whenever I come down here, you know, every weekend or every couple of weekends, uh, I still train here. Okay, so this exercise I call the incline prayer press. Uh, I've been doing it flat for a while, but this amendment to the form makes it target uh, or put, certainly put more stress and tension on the upper chest. Uh, you, when people talk about targeting chest muscles, I'll just say that you, you can't, up, like, for example, isolate the upper chest. But what you can do is place more tension on it, which is what I'm trying to do here. So I'm keeping the elbows in and uh, touching the dumbbells together and squeezing them together to squeeze the chest and then moving them up and down, being very conscious that the movement is initiated by my chest and as soon as the triceps start to pop in, I stop and I start moving the dumbbells back down. So you can see squeeze, and back down, squeeze, move it down to sort of mid chest and then press back up and you can see the chest contracting there. I'm focusing on moving the top portion of the dumbbell up towards my face and it finishes at sort of just above eye level. So it's actually sort of a diagonal path, diagonal range of motion that this is going through. Great movement to try. Number two. This movement is called the Pec Minor Dip. It was shown to me by Luke Sando, a Gaspari sponsored bodybuilder. Uh, when we were talking about developing the outer chest and I've been doing it ever since. Um, so yeah, basically uh, it's like a reverse shrug. Um, you get on some dip bars, lock out the triceps and then bring the shoulders up high to your ears and then squeeze down and move your torso up. Start with no weight. Uh, and here you can see I've, I've weighted it with a dumbbell. Um, and ba basically, yeah, just think about it like a reverse shrug. So the shoulders move back and uh, as, as your torso moves down and then squeeze down and forwards. And you can see my chest working there. Uh, the pec minor runs underneath the pec major and it really serves to kind of push it out and fill out the sort of lower side of the chest, that sort of gorilla action that you can see. Um, really gives a kind of 3D full shape to the chest. Uh, this is just a, a, a different workout, uh, a different film, so you can see a slightly different angle. That's the angle I wanted. You can really see how the chest is contracting there um, with this straight arm form as opposed to a regular dip. Also, great one to try for the lower chest. So that was fun. Uh, really good chest setting, actually. There it is. Bye, Elite. Um, so, yeah. The... Sorry, got to get the branch chains in. So yeah, the two exercises, both are worth working into your routine. Um, I'd say the, the, I mean, the dumbbell press works more upper chest. It's trying to focus on that. And the pec minor dip, I want it, to, it's, I mean, it's, it's lower chest, but it's basically sort of outer pec, uh, outer lower. Um, 
when you think about what the pet miner's doing, like pulling these shoulders down, the it really fills out the kind of that side of the chest, the sort of gorilla boob action going on down there. So yeah, I'd say that was a good one to work in. Um, and uh, also like in terms of like time in the gym and stuff like that, I understand that you don't want to be doing loads of these like really specific, like isolating exercises. Obviously the basics are where it's at, your bench press and flies and stuff. But if you want to like, like some, something I often do with this is like, I'll superset them in. So uh, pullovers is another movement that is, um, it's not like one of your heavy power and basic meat and potatoes kind of movements, but it is, it's useful to throw in. So I'll superset like pullovers and weighted dip, or uh, so pullovers and weighted pet minor dip, or um, the that inclined dumbbell superset with negative press ups or, or, or something. Um, just so you can cut, you can get the volume in, you can get the movement in, but you don't have to be spending like seven hours in the gym. So that was my two unusual chest exercises. I hope they're useful and yeah, give them a go, work them into your routine. I'd be really interested to know what you think of them because uh, the incline dumbbell one, I, I've been doing prayer press, essentially doing that flat for a while and doing it incline and, and with that kind of diagonal form, that's fairly new to me. But the, uh, the pec minor dip, I've been doing that for uh, about two years and it's been an absolute staple in my chest routine. I've seen all kinds of gains on that. So I'd be really interested to know how it works out for you. Catch you next time. I'm going to go and eat a shit ton of food.